Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you about the dangers of buying mystery boxes within the vintage community and tell you guys how I was scammed by Rally Roots. For some context leading up to the purchase of this box, I had been watching Rally Roots over the pandemic and had noticed that he was getting a bunch of vintage t-shirt boxes and that he was throwing together a bunch of mystery boxes. So I went ahead and bought the premium thousand dollar t-shirt box, asked for just music tees, and this is what I got. First things first, we have a counterfeit Tommy Hilfiger sweater in our box. Now you might be asking how I know it's counterfeit. Well, if you look at the tag, it says Tommy Jeans, and on the front it says Tommy Hilfiger. As well, the signature on the front does not align with the real ones. This embroidered front is not, it's not real. Uh, it's covered in dog hair like the rest of everything I got in the box. Uh, the pulleys on the hoodie are inside the hood. I don't think they come like that on the real Tommies. They have no, they have no ringlets on the hood as well. This is worthless. This is worth nothing. Even if I wanted to sell it, it's, I can't sell a counterfeit Tommy sweater. Next, we have this homemade Marilyn Manson tee. Uh, this looks just like someone's bad art project. Now for this one, I, was not able to find any t-shirt like this on the internet, but I did find a picture of Marilyn Manson like this on the front, which makes me believe that this was just homemade. Uh, the tag is not a proper tag. It's just a blank t-shirt. Um, overall, it looks like it was made in Photoshop and then screen printed on it, possibly ironed on, it's, it's fake. We have a ZZ Top counterfeit as well. I know for sure the real ones are on a Fruit of the Loom tag. This one is just on a generic tag. Uh, the real ones on eBay go for $40. So who knows what counterfeits go for. Um, honestly, it's double stitched. There's no way to date it. Who knows if it's actually from the 90s. We have not one disturbed shirt, but two disturbed shirts. You can't even wear these ironically. I would have rather two Nickelback shirts. Now I will give these shirts credit. They are real, they are on a giant tag, but the eBay comps, they only go for 10 to $20. These shirts aren't worth premium prices. If I really wanted one, I would go on eBay and spend 10 to $20 on them instead of buying a $1,000 premium mystery box. We have a Bush Gardens tee? This isn't what I asked for. This is in horrible condition. There's holes everywhere. It's stained. It has no tag. It's double stitch. This is not a rock tee. The comps on eBay go for $25 for a good condition one. This one's in horrible condition. It's worth nothing. This isn't what I asked for. Again, we have not one Cannibal Corpse shirt, but two. Now I can't even show you this one. It's so obscene and so is the, the back of the other one. Now I was told that these were European bootlegs but there's no way to date them as they're both double stitched and they're honestly horrible, horrible bootlegs if they're even bootlegs and not just outright fake. Oh, here's the dog hair again. It's everywhere. One of them is even in such bad condition. It's an iron on and it's peeling off. Uh, I know the real cannibal corpses from the 90s go for big money, but honestly, I would be embarrassed to wear any of these or try and sell these. Next, we have this this Sting shirt, brand new day, uh, trademark 1999. So this one is legit. These comps go for about $30, except mine has a gaping hole in the back. Hmm, that's weird. Another weird one to be getting in your thousand dollar premium mystery box. Uh, honestly, I wasn't expecting Sting. I was expecting the police to be in my box. 
Now we have this Bon Jovi long sleeve on the Screen Stars tag. Another one of the few that are legit in this box. Uh, I know the t-shirt version of this one goes for about 40 to 50. However, I got the less desirable long sleeve one. I can only assume this one's worth 30 to 40. So we're 10 shirts in and we barely scratched about $100 in value. And as a box I bought for my collection for $1,000, I don't see anything premium in here. Uh, we have about five shirts left to go. Let's hope there's some m magic grails in here. All right, getting into the final five, we have a Megadeth 1997 World Tour tee. It is on a generic tag, but it says license to giant. Hmm, you would think it's on a giant tag. This is just fake. It's not even a bootleg. It's worth nothing. We have this scorpion sweater. Um, I don't remember asking for these many sweaters. Uh, it has a 1988 German copyright. It's on a tag I don't really recognize. And the back print is so off center that I believe it was a reject. It still has the sticker on it. Uh, the comps on these shirts go for about a hundred dollars. I would say since the sweaters again are less desirable, 80 bucks max. These are all covered in dog hair. It's honestly for a thousand dollar premium t-shirt mystery box. I did not expect so many sweaters so many holes, so many stains, and so much dog hair. It's, it's actually, it's disgusting. Um, but next shirt we have, we have a Monsters of Rock sweatshirt crew neck. Uh, this one from my, re this one's actually the first one I can confidently say is legit. It has the proper dating on it. It's on a Screen Stars tag. It's a nice print, nice clean print. I would be excited to get this one if this was one of the lower end items I got in my box. I know the t-shirt versions of this uh, particular print go for about $100, $120. Again, since I'm getting more sweaters, the less desirable items, 80 bucks. Next, we have our final two items. We have another legit, this is actually the worst offender for all the dog hair. This one is covered every inch head to toe in dog hair. It is on the Screen Stars tag, no back print. Uh, the t-shirt version again for this sweater goes for about $100. Again for the sweatshirt, another 80 bucks. Uh, it's that, the last two items have been definitely vintage. That's pretty much all I can say about them as far as good things go. Lastly, we have the best item in the in the box and that's this Grateful Dead tee. It's, uh, it's got some bleach stains on it. It is on the Fruit of the Loom tag. It's not even on a white liquid blue tag. It is copyrighted properly. It's Grateful Dead Tees, however, you know, go anywhere from 80 to 150 bucks. 1994 single stitch. This one is definitely not one of the higher end ones. I would say you could make a hundred bucks on this one, but that's it for the whole box. Honestly, there's tons of dog hair at the bottom of the box. I don't know what else to say. To sum everything up, I paid a thousand uh, American plus fifty dollars shipping, so that makes about each piece valued at around seventy dollars. Uh, for fifty dollars shipping, it took a whole month to get here, which was a bit of a shock. Uh, I got fifteen pieces, uh, but the box says twenty pieces for some reason. I found that odd. Uh, I paid via friends and family on PayPal. 
uh, which means I have no recourse at all, which is, you know, all part of the risk. I understood the risk, but after watching all of Rally Roots' videos, I guess all I can say was I was surprised at what I got. Uh, I, let, I let Ryan know my concern. I messaged him and he basically told me he boxed this uh, box himself, which wasn't true as he would later tell me. And he basically told me if I wanted a better box, I should have spent two grand, which I don't think is a, uh, a fair comment by him. Ryan himself said that there's a hundred plus dollars within each piece, uh, but didn't provide any comps. And I said, if they're worth so much, I'll send them back. And he refused to take them back. So that says a lot about what he sent me. And in conclusion, don't buy mystery boxes. It's just too big of a risk. Uh, source locally, go to your thrift stores, buy locally. It's, it's not worth it. As for the grail of the video, there is none. Anyways, guys, I have a couple more boxes on their way. Obviously, I bought them before I learned my lesson, but I'll have more content for you guys coming. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.